for you. Okay. The drugs? Ah, that's the drugs. I brought... I, uh, Is this one mine? Huh? Yeah, this one's mine. So what one yours? What? This one. This one's mine. Oh, the mic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Great. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Me. Welcome, me. You guys have been here for a bit. <laughs> Is a beige pillow replacing Jack? Hi, hi. I brought a thing. I did. I brought a thing for Rich. Ugh. Where's the waffles? Because <laughs> I, I said I said Rich is probably going to start around seven. Yeah. Uh, and Jack will show up later. Uh, and I, like I, I wanted to make up a funny excuse for me being late, and I said I, I had yeah. a very important waffle eating competition to attend. And you know, it was just an offhand, like it's just a joke. <laughs> but uh, in any case, I did I win? Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I totally won my waffle competition. Um, Apple is not removing industry standard features to save money on manufacturing cost. Uh, Apple is moving forward. If anyone is like me and a, a, a big old Apple nerd, uh, you watched the Apple keynote today, and Apple has decided that all of their new phones, Rich, will yeah. no longer have headphone jacks. Why? Um, uh, the, is they force you to buy some kind of expensive Bluetooth headphone? Well, not necessarily. Uh, That's they, a dumb move. <laughs> I hope it bites them in the ass. Uh, I don't think it will be. Uh, I don't think it will. They they want to move to uh, lightning headphones. You know, the little power adapter at the bottom of the iPhone. I can't find a decent weapon to save my life. Literally, I can't find a decent weapon to save to my save life. To save your life, because you need that. Um... I, see what you know. You know what I can do in this situation? Uh -huh. Jack shit. All you have is your beam, and are you out of missiles? You have one missile. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rich. All those guys are still where they shouldn't be. Well, that's fine. Uh, it's it's not it's not just so they can make their phones thinner. It's also so they can, you know, take all of the stuff that was there for the audio jack, right? Audio jack is a single purpose port. Remove all of that, which means you can get a bigger battery, you can get more processors in there, you can get more shit in the phone if you take out this thing that's a single purpose thing. And use a port that's already there and already has the capability for headphones. Uh, part of their announcement is, um, is they've made also a new wireless standard. And so, like, they, they do have, like, new wireless headphones that they're selling, or they include lightning earbuds, and they also include a lightning to headphone adapter mm -hmm. if you still want to use regular headphones. But they've, uh... They got rid of the 30 millimeter jack tech side fan blade. No! You know what? It might not work, but it might work. <laughs> I guess is all I have to say about it. Apple is... Oh, oh no. Apple is trying something. They are trying something new, and it may not work. Um... Oh, God. Nope. Nope. Die with dignity. Die with dignity. Uh, you know, but you know what? what else Apple did? Uh, on their computers, hmm. and it turns out no one really cared, was got rid of disk drives. That's that's different than a headphone jack. How so? I wouldn't I wouldn't have a, a device without a headphone jack that that I use to play music frequently. Right, but people said the same thing about disk drives, and now no one cares about them because the way in which we get our media is different. How how are we going to change the way we use uh, headphones? We well, uh, we. Well, headphones will either have a lightning or there'll be some sort of wireless mm. technology. It's the exact same I don't, thing. I, I don't want to have to fucking worry about battery and charges all the time with my fucking headphones. It's a thing that goes in my pocket. Yeah. Just have a little cord that goes in my ears is fine. Yeah, oh, but, my headphones but are you dead. Can, you can oh, have, I'm fucked now. You could have a lightning cord and it's the exact same thing. It's the exact same thing. I'm dazed by Apple. Oh, and you know, he, he, 
Here and here's the real thing. Um, I'm I'm upset with Apple. I am an Apple fanboy, but I am upset with them because it's becoming more and more clear that Apple is completely ditching their desktop computers. Yeah, they had their big keynote today, mm-hmm. and you know they do they do two big presentations a year. They have they have the uh, WWDC the Worldwide Developers Conference, and you know a lot of that is talking about software because they invite developers to come check out the new stuff. You know, and this is their just Apple keynote where they just talk about all the cool things Apple is going to unveil soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, they talked about games. They talked about iWatch. They talked about iPhone, and that's it. <laughs> not not a mention of Mac OS. Not a ma- mention of desktop computers. Not a mention of laptops. You know what I don't care about? What? Apple. I know, I know. I'm an Apple user. I have an Apple computer. I've been happily using Apple computers for years. And uh, thinking that they are going to ditch this thing that I use all the time yeah. and enjoy is upsetting to me. I get that. So in general, I'm not super happy with Apple. They're taking a risk in getting rid of the headphone jack. Who knows if it's going to pay off? Mm. Right? So, um... What's what's the plan here? We just died. What do I think of the Air, AirPods? Those are dumb as shit. Coincidentally, right when you show up. Oh. <laughs> just coincidentally. I mean, I, 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 you know, are we playing more FTL or is there something more? If you want to, if listen, I've, I, I was hogging a lot of streams, and so if you want to play more FTL, this is this is you. Um, they did announce, so they did announce a new wireless earbud, ear pod, right? Mm-hmm. The AirPod, and it uses a, a newly uh, Apple has is is uh, creating their own sort of wireless standard, not Bluetooth, not Wi-Fi. It's a, a new wireless standard that Apple wants to use for their headphones, and they're very expensive and they look very ugly. Mm-hmm. So it's tough for me. Like I use headphones, I don't use them that often. I more use Bluetooth. And so I'm I'm not someone who necessarily cares about this. If you are a person who say, you know, like everyone, uh, and yeah, I'll get to tips in a second. If you are a person who uses headphones and also charges your phone, yeah, I could see there being a problem. But then I I cannot also not think of a situation in which you are using headphones and also charging your phone. You know, because usually when you're using headphones, you're on the go. I don't want expensive mm-hmm. headphones with a battery that will wear out, and you'll have to buy another expensive. No, pair but it of just headphones. plugs in. They have no battery. They just plug into the lightning adapter that's already there. So, like, like an iPhone, right? It has this. This is where we get our power. Oh. So you plug your headphones into that. Oh, so I, so I can't use the headphones any other normal place. You would use headphones. Right. Oh, that's really dumb. Yeah, but what? I thought they were at least wireless. They can be wireless. Or there, there are different types of headphones. There's wireless headphones. There's wired headphones. Just in general, that's a thing, Rich. There's different types of headphones. So they're still very expensive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So sorry, sorry. Let's get uh, to tips here. Uh, Crunky says, "Welcome to the party, Jack. Are you guys fans of roller coaster tycoon games?" I'm following the development of Coaster Planet and Tycoon World and hope you guys would give it a try later this year. Have you ever played any of the Roller Coaster Tycoon games? Kara loves them, though. She's very much looking forward to Coaster Planet Coaster. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, which I keep calling, like, Roller Planet, or I call it whatever. <laughs> I call it everything but what its actual name is. I like Roller Planet. Yeah. And uh, she doesn't have a proper computer right now. Uh, she's talking to me about, like, building one, but she wants to make sure she can play Planet Coaster. That's it. That's the only thing she cares so about. Trying to <laughs> trying to price out something affordable yeah, yeah. that will still run Planet Coaster decently. Because I don't know what... I'm, you know the specs on that. Right, it's right. got a minimum and I'm recommended and oh, somewhere in between. Oh, that's funny. She cares that it will play that and The Sims Three, which I think she'll be pretty <laughs> safe on. I'm gonna go out on a limb yeah. here and say that's not too processor intensive. <laughs> so uh, G Shots, you're on the team. G Shots is on the team. Uh, I, I've never played any of them. Uh, I think they've they've been exclusively PC games, and so obviously I'm I'm new to the PC game. Um, I've heard good things. I've heard good things. 
Uh, Sari Chen says, how do you feel about that their Super Mario run for iOS? That was a big part of the Apple keynote. Sean dash 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 or dash one long Sean underscore. Sean underscore. underscore. Sean underscore. Um, Miyamoto came out for the Apple keynote. And for an, Apple? Yes, and announced a, an official Nintendo Mario Endless Runner. Hmm. That's coming out for iPhone and eventually Android devices. So it's an official Nintendo game. And John Kilo 3! John Kilo 3! Um, that's That was a weird one for me just because, I mean, Endless Runners were like, what, three years ago? We're, we're kind of done with Endless Runners now, but it's Mario, so I'm sure it'll do well. Yeah. Well, is it going to be a, a runner, really, or is it just going to be like an Endless Mario level? Which is slightly different. I mean, it's, it'll be a 2D Endless Runner. I, I don't think a runner plays a lot like a Mario level. Is this an actual runner, or is this just an endless standard Mario level? Mm, that's a good question, maybe. Yeah. Big think... difference. Hmm. Sonic does have an endless runner, Ultimazer. Apparently, it's very good. He, uh, Sarah Chen says he keeps running, yes. Oh. Well, now I'm not interested at all. But it's still a 2D Mario. Yeah. yeah ex Fuck it. By the way, that's... Fuck it to death. That's exactly how I feel, where it's just like, why, why are you making a game that w was played out so many years ago? Nintendo, they so crazy. Uh, what do I think of the Apple Watch? I still think it's the stupidest thing in the world. I still, I, I, there is no use for an Apple Watch. No. There, there is no use. Is this a question? Is this for a, <laughs> well, they're, they're wondering what I think about it, and I am an Apple fanboy, so you know. But no, it's it's a dumb thing. It it's a thing that does less than the thing that's already in your pocket. And uh, they're trying to make it more. Uh, Apple's trying to make it more independent of your phone. You know, so you can use it without your phone, and they're gearing it towards athletes or, or you know, fitness buffs because it it can do stuff like read your heart rate and uh, and stuff like that. But I don't I don't give a shit about any of that. Well, oh bother, yeah, then it would work for you. If, if he I used I used my watch as a screen for my constant glucose monitor. It has incredible health benefits, and if you are a person who are into that, like that's great. Okay. It does not affect me at all. Uh, Anonymous says, stop being so reasonable, Jack. Everyone loves the hate and drama. Just give in to it. Okay. Okay. All right. What's your response? Um, I, I could take a hard apple stance, a hard line apple stance, I guess. And I could say... I can say, oh, all you people just don't understand. You don't understand, like, Apple. They're, they're revolutionizing headphones. They're revolutionizing revolutions. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. That's what they're doing. No, Apple's trying a new thing, and, and they've... It just so happens that now they have new proprietary... Um, wireless software that works with their headphones that they could lease by, out to other companies. By the way, as far as who headphones. would who would want to charge their phone and and listen to music at the same time? Yeah. Uh, well, I guess in the car, I probably wouldn't be using headphones, but you're usually using Bluetooth. Uh, well, it's 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 charged. Usually, I got I got no. Actually, I do use the headphone because I got the headphone jack going into a thing in the car. Oh, it's got a headphone jack okay. So there you with go. the headphone jack that I have right. on the phone. Right. See that goes into the headphone jack on the car. Right. So that's a that's. And then I got a power cable coming out. Right. I think into the the I lightning jack or whatever you want to call it, the mini uh, mini USB. Well, you have a you have a fire, so that's a different one. That's a mini USB. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't I don't know how many people still use those kinds of adapters. Probably most people have Bluetooth in their car now. For on an airplane or train, yeah. But how are you charging it on an airplane? Uh, let's see here. Where were we? Anonymous. In the book War of the Hack Frauds, the main character 
is an anonymous doorman who records the arrival of bears in Rich Evans's bathroom. Needless to say, bears fuck everything in sight. What? Was that a reference to something that happened earlier? Uh, what did it say? I don't know. I read it. Just this guy you know says, as an RLL, RLM fan and sometimes commenter, I feel compelled to refer to that waffle joke for the next three years. That's fair. That's fair. Did you guys like the current mix of snacks? Like Pop-Tarts better? Is fruit leather weird? Oh, you got new snacks? I last one I got was a box of those uh, Pirate's Booty. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, know, I know you like those. There's probably stuff in the mail right now. I know you like those, and I know my, Mike gobbled up all of those ramen packages that he could get his hands on. But we like snacks of all kinds. Uh, hi, Rich and Jack. So happy to stream tonight. Rich, will you please turn on the FTL audio so we can hear the pretty music? Oh, you don't have the music on. It should be on. No, it's not. Oh, on. the music. I don't hear it. Yeah, I never. I, I'm always listening. I'm always listening to other things while I'm playing this game. With FTL? Yeah. Oh, FTL has the greatest music. FTL has the greatest music. Go turn it on. I'd rather like listen to a documentary about black holes or something. No, we listen. Let's listen to the music. Oh, whatever. Um, let's listen to the music. Ooh, yeah. Ooh sweet. Do you know, someone tweeted at me, and I, I watched a little bit, Ben Prunty, the guy who did the soundtrack, yeah, who's a great musician, was live streaming the other day, Duskers. Okay. Ben Prunty, the composer of FTL, was playing Duskers live on stream, and it was joyful. I'm so happy for you. It was great for me. It was great. This music is so great, you're turning it down. Well, I just don't want, you know, I still want to have a, I want to have a conversation with you at normal volumes, you know? There's no conversation with me at normal volumes. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. It's going to go whack right. sooner or later, Jack. You're right. Um, Braze, I'm getting there. Don't worry. I'm, I'm getting to all the tips. Never fast enough. Never fast enough. Uh, let's see here. I turned on the music. Gobbledygook says, Jack, did you also watch the Sony press conference today? Mass Effect, Adromina gameplay footage, and the Sony PS4 Pro. Yes, I do like Star Trek Radio uh, Jelly Sickle. That's, uh... Neil deGrasse? Yeah. Yeah, yeah no story. And, There's um, a radio thing about science. That's, uh... Eugene Merman. Post that right with him? Uh, sometimes it's rotating. I like Eugene Merman. He's funny. Um, is he the one from Bob's Burgers? He's the, he's got to be the kid from Bob's. Yeah, Burgers, he's right? in Bob's yeah. Burgers, and he's he's a comedian. Uh, yeah, I think I've heard a couple of that. A couple episodes of that. The the question sparks is not is not is is three point five obsolete. It's can we do this better? You know, 3.5 still works. Headphone jack still works. Why, why is Everybody something that it. actually fits in a wider, a, a larger orifice and and uh, how how is it better? How is it? I don't understand how it's better. Well, what it does is so uh, a 3.5 mil. The, the headphone hole is a is a, a unitasker, right? And this is from Apple. This isn't necessarily for me because I don't super care because, like I said, I barely use headphones. But Apple's, th Apple's thought is that headphone port is a, a single task port. It's only for headphones. It's only for audio, right? Sure. So this thing that is only for audio is taking up space in the phone that could be filled by something more useful. If you, if you gave me two of the other jacks, I'd be fine. <laughs> I'm getting less. I'm getting less. You're getting, However you want to slice it. You're getting, yes, I know it's cheaper for them to not have to manufacture the phone without that jack. I know that I know that saves them a few pennies. It probably doesn't. But it's worse for me. It gives me less options. It probably does not save them that much money. <laughs> well, first of all, Rich, you don't have an Apple phone, so this does not affect you in the slightest. <laughs> right? So this is only for people. You can always buy a different phone.
So the the idea is we have this jack that you can already attach stuff to. It can be an HDMI out. It can be a power source. It can be an audio out. It can be a, a microphone yes, in. Yes, we already have one. But it, one that only does audio. When we can... I mean, the other slot. We already have that. What? If you take away the audio jack, the mini, the, 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 the micro USB slot. We already the have that. The lightning connector. Show me it. it so this is, this is different. This Show is, me. This is lightning. Do I have a, I, I don't have a cable. All right, so Apple's got some weird proprietary bullshit as opposed to a normal fucking micro yes, USB uh, yes. because they're pricks. Yes. Fuck Apple. They, they fuck Apple. They like their things very fuck Apple. particularly. Apple cult. You're in a fucking cult. Uh, yeah, yeah, we are. We are in a cult. We're absolutely in a cult. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it works out. Let's see here. Oh, uh, so PS4 Pro, Rich. Uh -huh. It's a more powerful PS4. That, sound, that, was, that would be really obnoxious. It's really obnoxious. And uh, it can do 4K, but but they they won't say if it will like give you better frame rates on current games. And they and here's here's the real kicker for it. Ready? Uh -huh. So it can do 4K games. It cannot play 4K Blu-rays. That's dumb. That's awful. I would. Blu-rays are Sony's. <laughs> I, I would be. I uh, no. And I would be. I will be really annoyed. Yeah. When. The first game comes out that will run on the newfangled PS4 and not on the old one. Yes. I will be in full-blown revolt. Well, if that happens, yeah. that would that would be the most obnoxious thing ever. Yeah. Thank God I have a PC. Yep. Pretty much. And so they're trying they're trying to compete with the new more powerful Xbox One. And apparently it's not as powerful as that. And it doesn't it doesn't do all the things that the Xbox One does. So in any case, uh, no, it's dumb. And you either make a new system or you just work on software updates. Tolik F C T says, "Welcome back, Jack." Also, has Mike always had a really evil sounding laugh that he tries to not let loose? As a as to conceal his true villainy. No. No. Uh, Brace one ten. Hi, Jack and Rich. Uh, Rich, please tell me how much time is your commute to the office, so he can make triangulate a, where so I can live. Make and, a radius. Yeah. And then walk that radius in hopes he finds you. Uh huh. One hour. And forty five minutes. One hour and forty five minutes for both of us. Exactly. In different directions. <laughs> Brace 110. Uh, the new PS4 will, uh, will all, like, it does 4K and it's also for VR, but you guys know my stance on VR. Damn it. I was, uh, I was curious. I went on Steam today because there, there's an update to Necropolis and I wanted to make sure I downloaded it. And, there, you know, I, I saw the little Vive thing, the HTC Vive, and I was like, you know what? How much is this Vive? <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's eight hundred dollars. You know what? Which is the vibe? The HTC, the Steam, the official Steam supported one. That's the one where you have the two hand things and the headset. Oh, the okay, yeah, yeah. It's eight hundred dollars. That's very expensive. For the VR thing, yeah. yeah. Get another PC. Right. I... It's crazy. It's crazy. What's Jack reading? Sometimes I read the tips, and sometimes I read the chat. Oh, you know. <laughs> ah, excuse me. In for us, I have also. Said, yeah, well, uh, okay. So in for us is pointing out a, a possible hypocrisy with me, okay. because I, I'm I'm saying Apple's trying something new, <laughs> and that should be applauded. While at the same time saying VR won't stick. For me personally. I'm not a big headphone user, so I can only see the benefits of the Apple Switch, and I don't like VR, so personally, I don't see the benefits of VR. 
So I'm I'm speaking. I have nothing personal opinion. against VR. I'm just skeptical that it's worth it at this point. Right. So watch me speak my opinions, which I will do. Rich, you should use your Lannis as a boarding party. Why do you think I spent $90 on the goddamn teleporter so early in the game? <laughs> yes. I, oh no, like, I use headphones, but when I use headphones, it's like when I'm out walking or riding my bike. Not usually a situation that involves also charging my phone. And so for me, it won't be a big deal. You feel me? Use them on my PC all the time at home. Sure. Those are my PC headphones, though. You have a different pair of headphones? Yeah, I got big cans at home. And then you don't want the big cans when you're riding a bike. So I got the little earbuds <laughs> for when I ride my bike. Do you wear headphones when you ride your bike? Not frequently. Oh, okay. You know, you can't. I, I can't imagine it would be a good idea to to uh, ride your bike with with my big uh, with my cans. So, I got my little earbuds, and they come like the the lightning earbuds come free with the phone. So every everyone will have a pair of these headphones when they get a phone, if they get a phone. Uh, Well, that lasted. Oh. Anonymous says, I know your stance on VR, and I'm in the same boat when it comes to holding off on buying a headset, but I played Star Trek Bridge Crew at the STNY Con, the Star Trek New York convention, this week, and it blew my mind. I now believe in VR. Well, thanks, Anonymous. And also Anonymous says, itch, 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 scratch, scratch, scratch. Cheek, chin, neck, cheek, chin, neck, itch, 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 scratch, 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 drink, beer, snack. Yes, my face is very itchy. Star Harbles, you've won. Thank you, Anonymous. You've won a death. For making me want to itch my beard. It is very itchy at this moment. But I think, you know, I'm liking how it's looking. Yeah. Feeling pretty yeah. confident about my beard. But it is very, very itchy. We'll see how it looks on camera. I, sh I shot something this morning. R. Miller! With, uh, with Javis Montgomery Bauman. And so we'll see how it looks on camera. So you shot something today? Yeah, I didn't know that. That's uh, the, the wonderful thing is, uh, like me, Jay is also a morning person. Yeah. And now I have all of my mornings and it's incredibly free. And comically small skeleton. And so, James was like, a, huh? he's asking to be picked in the chat. I just, I just looked over us. Oh, sure. It's a coincidence. Why not? Hi, Street CEO. And so, uh, it was just one of those things where he was like, hey, what are you doing this morning? I said, nothing. I could do whatever. And so we knew like, we wouldn't bother anyone because everyone else is, is not a morning person. A last <laughs> minute kind of thing, huh? Well, we, we had talked about it earlier in the week, and so I made sure I rewatched. The thing we were talking about, including with the commentary tracks. Oh yeah, yeah. Man, I miss commentary tracks. I love them. I love commentary tracks. Pigs are flying. I'm I am growing out my beard. Yes. Yeah, I gotta pick up that Ash versus Evil Dead box set. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I hear the the you guys are talking about that. The commentary track is supposed to be great, right? Adipose Von Cromwell says, Jack, uh, had a discussion earlier about editing. Do you think that being able to choose the right cut can be taught? Or is it something that just feels right and you know it when you see it? Um, it's a little bit of both. Uh, something that's really great about modern day nonlinear edit edits is you can always edit something a certain way, watch it, and then change anything you want about that. Um, sometimes you do feel it. You'll watch something and it just won't work and maybe you're not sure why it works and so you just start moving stuff around until it does work. Uh, the taught aspect of it is showing it to other people and seeing how they react to it. Um, 
screening stuff for other people live is incredibly important. Uh, especially if you're making like a comedy or you know something that people should react to and you get to that moment where they should laugh and they're not oh god rich there's no worse feeling in the world <laughs> there is no more gut wrenching probably feeling. getting stabbed in the gut oh no this is this is cuz it's the gut and the heart and the brain yeah if when when you're working on something and you know that that moment is supposed to hit and it doesn't then you start making notes and say, this doesn't hit, why doesn't this hit? And that's how you learn, by, by showing it to other people, especially live. That's super important. And that's how you learn. And you go, oh, well, you know what? I did it this way and it didn't hit. Then I you know, try to rejigger it, try to make it better, try to make it different in some way. Screen it again, Just see if it hits. Just mess with the timing. Just mess with the timing. And then when you see it hits, that's how you learn what works and what doesn't. So, you know, so, so, you know, some of it can be taught, but it's taught by yourself. It's taught by, it's taught by failure. <laughs> oh my eh. Eh. Okay. Anonymous says, oh wait, hold on a sec. Before I read this, Rich, did I tell you about what happened to me earlier today? You filmed something with Jay? Oh, there we go. Anonymous said that. Okay. Uh, Folopo says, Hey guys, I re-watched Feeding Frenzy last night, and you two as father-son Plinket is one of my favorite things. Thanks for the streams and laughs. LOL. Fook makuk. You're welcome. It was, it was kismet. That we ended up friends, you know. They knew back then, even. We had never <laughs> met, and we were father and son. Yeah, that probably was the very first time I met you. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Probably. It was feeding frenzy. This is fucking weirdo. I just remember that first day of shooting, and Jay thought that it was very important to get me in my zombie makeup very first thing. <laughs> like, I showed up to shoot at like 10 in the morning and Jay got me in my full zombie makeup including hand makeup. He put all my hand makeup on. Uh -huh. And then I didn't end up shooting until five hours later. I'm so sorry. And like I, I brought a book that I couldn't read because I had all the goop on yeah, my hands yeah. and I brought my phone and I brought a video game in case there Did was you, downtime. Did you say can I please clean my fucking hands off? You prick. Right? And then like I couldn't even help with the camera stuff because I had shit all over my hands. It was war. It was the worst. Ah, uh, let's see here. Uh, Sean underscore says that audio jack also lets small business owners scan credit cards. That's true. Use thermal cameras and other accessories. This is about licensing fees. They want the third parties to have to pay to play. Ah, uh, possibly. Possibly. You mean definitely? Definitely. Well, no, and all those things will still be maintained. They, they'll have to buy things again. And get the lightning adapters and do all that fawn jiggery. Do all the fawn jiggery. Uh, but, you know. Like I said. I don't know. That doesn't affect me. Maybe, maybe I don't know. You know, it doesn't affect me, so I don't care. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Anonymous says Apple is the largest company in the world, valued at over half a trillion dollars. Cult? Kappa? Scientology. What, 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 <laughs> what do they make? Probably not that much. Apple probably, not as much as Apple. Yeah, Apple makes I mean. way more than Scientology. Apple feels a lot like Scientology. We today. oh no, there is a there is a there, headphone jacks are evil. There is a cult of math, and I am... Psychiatrists are evil. I'm incredibly guilty of of being too nice to Mac because they have a whole thing. Oh, simplicity, unity. Don't you fucking open your Mac. Don't you fucking do it. Don't touch anything. You want, you want to change something in there? You buy a new Mac, you motherfucker. <coughs> is that a fucking mouse? 
I heard this is rapid squeaking. What the fuck? I heard that too. What was that? I don't have any idea. I thought that came from the TV. Well, shit. Cult of Mac and me, right? Oh, Mac and me. If you ever hate somebody, <laughs> make them watch Mac and me. <coughs> Just if you really hate them. Yeah. Nice. Oh, no. You know what that was? That was my flip flop. That's what it was. Uh, it was not a mouse. It was my flippy floppy. Uh, okay, let's see here. Hey guys, have you heard of the new controversial George Carlin special? Why is this controversial? No, I have not heard of it. I, I have heard this. Uh, it was recorded one day before 9 11. Oh, that is getting aired. This is It's going to be released soon. So it is unheard material. I imagine after it didn't get aired, he used a lot of those jokes in the next one. Oh, probably. But, but it's a new Carlin special. Why is it controversial? Fuck, give me that shit. It, I mean, he because because he's George Carlin, so he probably mentioned religion and terrorism at some point. Yeah. <laughs> why is it controversial? I don't know. He's the man who made jokes about watching NASCAR so he could see the wrecks. Yeah. He, he made his career off of being controversial. So. Hey, new George Carlin. That's great. Well, let's see. If there's a lot of new material, that's the best thing I've heard in a while. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Anonymous, I think that's true. The reason Apple won't let you replace batteries or upgrade memory or now let you use a 3.5 connector is so they can have a nice, compact, <laughs> pretty little case. Uh, they don't let you even change that you can't, like... On, I, okay, so on, on an Apple, uh -huh. it is, generally speaking, pretty difficult to change things. They, that's, they, that's horrible. You can, that's not innovative. That's that's sleazy. That's, it's Apple. That's stuff. fucking sleazy. You know that going in. You can upgrade your RAM. You might Okay, you know that going in, but then you don't admire these people. They have, you don't admire them. They're jerks. They have a, a certain philosophy. Because unlike other computer makers, they design both the hardware and the software. And so it's part of Matt Apple's thing that says, because we design both, they can work better that S way. Screw Apple. When, when, when is yeah. that George Carlin thing coming out? <laughs> and what is it called? No, no, I'm dead yeah, serious. What's right. it called? When's it coming out? Is that something I actually care about? There's a good reason to have iPhone, iPhone this day. As I wait for someone in the chat to tell me when the George Carlin thing comes out. Um, George Carlin thing is coming out. Oh, if, if the George Carlin thing is coming out on 9-11, I would laugh. Yes. Is that true, XKNM, the George Carlin special, is named I Kind of Like It When a Lot of People Die? I heard about that. <laughs> I thought they just changed the name and possibly some of the material and, like, recorded another special shortly after. Mm. Oh. That's what I thought they did. Oh, I don't know. The, oh, they say the 16th. So, that's exciting. Well, no, like, the, the whole deal with Apple and the iPhone versus Androids, uh, it, or, or Windows Phone, which aren't really a thing anymore, is when you get an Apple phone, you know exactly what kind of software is going to be on the what? Apple phone. Why are we still talking about Apple? Because I have, I, I am part of the cult of Mac, Rich. And so I'm going to talk. About I'm going to, you talk about that. I'm going to text my brother and tell him that the new George, there's a new George Carlin okay, thing coming out. Because he loves George Carlin. So when you have, when you have an iPhone, you know exactly what kind of operating system and software you're getting. When you have an Android, uh, you get different operating systems and there's different specs and there's there's all these different things you know like companies put shells over operating there's systems versatility there's 
There's, Flexibility. You know, there is. There's clutter, Rich. There's clutter, which is why it's uh, generally speaking. Yes, you want all of your 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 eggs in the Apple basket, so they have full control. Well, it's, it's generally speaking easier to create applications for Apple because if it works on one Apple device, it will work on all of them. Whereas if you if you make something for say the Google Play Store, you're not sure which device it will work on. So that's why that's why Apple got a lot of the app developers developing for them just because it's easy. That that is true. The jack is off. I get it. Applications, apps. Apps. Uh, let's see here. Sari Chen says, "How do you how do you be not dead in the morning? I'd love to know." Also, playing as the Brute is fun. Also, also, not that anyone cares, but I'm very excited that Ace Attorney 6 is releasing in a few hours. Oh, great, there's a new Phoenix Wright. So, uh, I was playing um, Necropolis with Sari Chen the other day, and uh, it, it turned into a rather late night. Uh, she's on the West Coast, and so it was a very late night for me. Uh, it's just coffee. It's coffee and pure will of spirit, Sari. That's, that's all I live on. And so, you know, I'll usually go to bed at like 1 or 2 in the morning, and then I have to wake up at 7 uh, to get uh, my boys up, fed breakfast, and off to school. So, and then it's just coffee. Just coffee, coffee, coffee. All day until it's bedtime. And I do it because it's, it's the only way I know how to function. Mm-hmm. So... That's all I got. What are games you guys were looking forward to that ended up being canceled? Can't think of any off the top of my head. Yeah, I don't know. Star Fox 2. <laughs> no, that's not a joke. That, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm laughing. Like, that's the one that turned into Star Fox Adventures, right? It was released as a ROM. No, yeah. not Adventures. An actual, on the, this is going to come out on the Super Nintendo. They're almost really? they're almost fucking done with it. Actually, I think they had finished it. I forget what the reasoning for not releasing it was. But there was an unreleased Star Fox game. Shit. You can find the ROM for it. I thought you were talking about the thing that nope. turned into the nope. dinosaur hunter nope. adventure thing. Oh. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously Half Life Three or Half Life Episode Three. Uh, everyone's waiting on that. That would be great. That would be great. Uh, Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Gokun, says, Hey, Rich and Jack, love the stream and loved Space Cop. Haven't laughed harder since my ex-wife asked if she still looked fuckable. Also, I wish porn had trigger warnings for anal gapping. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Really, yeah. There's just there's just a ton of shots in porn. I don't want to see a close up of an asshole. Right, and you know, like oftentimes they'll do that like undercarriage shot where it's just balls flapping. It's like, why do I even want to watch this? I don't want to see balls at all. No, no, no. You know, talk, we have very little control over that. Talk to your local pornographer, and uh, you know, write an angry letter, and maybe that'll happen. Anonymous. Um. Anonymous says, be kind to your body, for a duck may be somebody's priest. Be kind to your children what? in Jack's shed where the weather is always intelligent. You may think that this is a school teacher. Well, I it don't. is. <laughs> I don't. Listen, I just read the thing that they wrote. I read it ahead of time because it was weird. I wanted to make sure it wasn't too weird. Recruit more pimps for you, Rich! What? Will Karen ever guest on an episode of Best of the Worst? No. She doesn't like bad she movies. She doesn't like bad movies. <laughs> she can't stand the room. <laughs> right? No, she couldn't make it through one, let alone three. I made her watch the room once. She was stone-faced. <laughs> right, up, right up until she fell asleep. Yeah. Yeah. 
Also, Jack, I hope you enjoyed your egos, even though I cry whenever I see them. I, it was great waffles. Great waffles. Uh... <laughs> okay, TNG After Dark. TNG After Dark says, let's all just take a moment to be grateful there is no God. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. The Riddle of Steel, you guys put out great content all the time, and even though I don't sub, I appreciate it and flood you with tips. Well, we appreciate that, The Riddle of Steel. Will Rich be continuing Human Revolution? Yeah, quite possibly. When I got time. Yeah. Uh, also, what is your favorite a, wing sauce? I've had a house guest lately. A house guest? A house guest. My, my brother. Oh, I thought you were referring to Karen. No, <laughs> no, like, no. I was like, Rich, I think she's a little more than a house guest. <laughs> no, Labor Day, I got a, I got a call from my uh, brother. Uh -huh. uh, years ago, like five years ago, he uh, moved up to somewhere, somewhere out of ridiculously far up north. I don't think it was that far from Green Bay, but I don't know. That I just, north, uh, near Canada. And uh, he's living with her, and he was working for her parents. Mm. And things went sour with the girl, and oh. automatically, you know, he doesn't have the job now because he was working. Yeah. So you know. <laughs> sure. 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 Try and help him get that speed. That's very kind of you. Oh For the two latest anonymous tips? No. Not reading them. I just want to see them. Nothing terribly weird, but I, you know, it's this one again, like, uh, and I, I just don't know if that's a thing. So I'm not. Ju I'm just not gonna read it because I'm not sure what kind of thing they're trying to start. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. And the other one, no. Fuck it. Oh, let's see here. You know, human, mankind divided. I'm still about like six, seven hours in. I thought we we can the. Thing. We're, we're so I'm not. We're, oh yeah, yeah. We can All right. Thing. And the reason we're not going to do a review of it is after six, seven hours, I could not think of anything interesting to say about it. I didn't play, I didn't play Mankind Divided because before I even started, you said, you know, I don't know about this. Yeah. But uh, I don't know, I, 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 didn't, I didn't hate Human Revolution. I was no, taking it. No, I didn't hate, you know what? My, my entire review would have just ended up me going, yeah, that's fine. It has, like, a really interesting backstory, which I, I won't spoil for you because you're playing the prequel. Mm -hmm. And so it has this really interesting setup and it has this really interesting world, yet the dialogue is cringeworthy and a lot of the specifics are really dumb. <laughs> the game mechanics are really fun. Like, a lot of the stealth I was doing was, was fun and interesting, but it also felt... Um, I don't know, light? So. Uh, what's that? Dr. Chug Butt Mud! You're on the team! Dr. Chug? Great. So, and uh, yeah, I am playing as pacifist in Mankind Divided. I'm, I'm not killing anyone, so far. We'll see if I have to get to a point where I kill people, but... No, and you know, like, I'm, I'm on some missions, oh. and... When did I pick him up? I didn't even notice picking him up. We've got another crew member. Oh. Well, great. Standard Bupkiss. Standard Bupkiss. Sorry, I would have would have named and assigned him a while ago. I didn't even know he existed. Um. So yeah. Standard Bupkin. Bup Bupkiss. Bupkiss. Sure. Bupkis. I like it. I thought he was buttkin. Like, like he thought he was, you know, he's a butt in the body of a human. Oh. He's buttkin. Oh, I like it. I like that. 
I like bupkis. He opens his bit. mouth and shit comes out. It's yep. appropriate. It's appropriate. I was born a butt in the body of a man. Uh, so yeah, so basically we like, and Rich wanted to play the first one, and so it was just it wasn't going to happen anytime soon. So we just said, ah, fuck it, we'll wait for the next game to come out. <laughs> we'll wait and do because that's how we roll. Yeah, because we can, we can, we can choose what game we want to have a conversation about. And I'm sure, had we like really powered through and forced a fast gameplay, we would have that would have done the game a disservice. Exactly. That's the other reason I was reluctant to do. I knew I knew that would be a time-consuming game. Exactly. So, but I mean, overall, I'm okay with the game. I have, I have very little like overwhelmingly negative things to say about it and I have very little overwhelmingly positive things to say about it. It's fine. It's just a fine game. Uh, Anonymous says, can you get your brother to guest star in Best of the Worst? Imagine the combined laughs of two Evans brothers. He doesn't laugh like me. Ah, uh, well then, no. Nope. I'm unique. Yep. Rich is a snowflake. He's a snowflake landing on a camera. We're not very alike. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Well, that, that happens sometimes with brothers. Absolutely. Jack Trigger Joyce, the first CD I bought was They Might Be Giants Flood. I'm just going to let this shit burn out. Oh, yeah, see if you can take the crew out. Yeah. And it was the greatest purchase in my young life, and I do not regret it one bit because They Might Be Giants Flood is a fantastic album. As soon as, Right after I saw that Tiny Toons episode... I went out and bought bought Flood. Uh, my brother does not like bad movies, <laughs> so he my brother would also not like to come on Best of the Worst. And you know he has like a real job <laughs> and does stuff. Dr. Killed the Cat, you're right. Aesop Rock, you are right. It's great. Hopefully that's what you mean by that. Anything uh, I'm excited? That's a good question. What? Is there anything you're excited to replay with killer graphics on your new PC? I don't, you know. It says Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex? Like... I've spent so much of my life not caring about beautiful graphics. I oh, don't... You're, you're above that kind of thing. Oh, I see. Well, oh, it's hard. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's hard to switch gears. <laughs> I keep, you know what? Like every once in a while, I'm, I'm thinking like. I forgot how much better you are than everyone else. I am absolutely. Uh, I was. I've been thinking about it, and I don't know mouse and keyboard wise if I'm ready for Doom yet. <laughs> But that would be nice to play uh, on a, on a high-end PC. Um, I, I'm, I've been really enjoying Half-Life and thought it's not looking so bad. My, my first CD, by the way. Your first CD. The very best of the doors. Oh, nice. All right. Maybe when I get a little bit better with a mouse and keyboard, I'll give that Dishonored a try and have it look really nice on a nice yeah, PC. Yeah. I've heard good things about that Dishonored. I could play The Witcher 3. I do have The Witcher 3. <laughs> I never said I liked my 30 frames. I said I was I was at peace with 30 frames a second. You know, I was at peace with, with not good graphics and 30 frames a second. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, how do you come out of that? It's it's like if one day someone someone said, I have a magic elixir that is free and will grow back all of your hair. Yeah, and it's like, but I've I've become at peace with being a bald man. No, I would take that shit instantly. I would take it instantly, but you know there'd be a little mental struggle <laughs> because I've you. I don't know if you are at peace yet with your balding. No, right. I don't think that I don't think that's ever gonna be. I am. I am at peace with my balding. I don't have I don't have a bald head. Right. I don't have a head that conducts itself well to being bald. And that's what this is what I'm saying is I I have I have grown accustomed to the way I look now. And even though someone is offering me something that's clearly better, <laughs> I am at peace. <laughs> Enjoy. Uh, 
I'll never be at peace. You will. You just have. You just have to. You know, acceptance is a hard thing to to gain. Thank you, Candymatic. I feel like I look great bald too, which is not, you know, that's why it would be tough for me if someone gave me the magic potion. The Riddle of Steel says, Jack, do you think Mankind Divided's dialogue interest problem will be fixed if it was an all kill run voiced by Rich as Space Cop? Y you know what? I started to kind of do that, but I wasn't familiar enough with the game to really be able to. Like, that would make perfect sense, because then at least there'd be some humor to it. It's just so, you know, it's just so serious. Yeah. It's so serious. Also, have I considered a One Punch Man costume for Halloween? I have. Uh, usually, every year, we try for family costumes. And our, our kids are still young enough where we can tell them. And I think we have them convinced, the boys convinced, to go as Tick characters. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go as the tick. Dun, 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 dun. Yep. Really? Yeah. You're gonna take the tick away from one of your children? They told me I should be the tick. All right. Because. All right. They must really love you, man. No. Well, because because one really wants to be Arthur because they want the wings, uh, and one yeah. likes to be bad guys. Oh, okay. So they don't want to be the tick. You gonna cut his head off and put a chair in there? We were thinking about chair face. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else were we thinking about for him? Yeah, Chairface Chippendale would be amazing. Actually, I was, you know what, at first I was thinking I would be a villain, so I was thinking on how to do Chairface. Yeah. All you would need is that costume, like, for a headless horseman. Yeah, just and then put a chair in put there. Put, like, a foam chair on top, right? Chairface Chippendale would be great. Um, I think, uh, who does he like? He likes Chrome Dome, if you remember Chrome Dome, Dr. Chrome Dome. Which... Yeah, not especially well, but yeah. Yeah, uh, who else? I remember the Mad Midnight Bomber. What bombs at midnight? Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, baby. baby. Yeah, baby. And so, and so, I, I, I says to him, I says to him, uh, I, I like the cut of your jib, and I, and I go, it's the only one I got. <laughs> and then there's also the tick. Yeah. No, Barry. Barry. You mean yes. Barry? I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Tick is great. Tick is Tick's fantastic. So um So right now that's where we're going for Hall as far as Halloween is concerned. I forget what what is what does Jackson want to be? He he likes being bad guys and so he No he, Deflator he, Mouse. Deflator eh, he's kinda lame. Everyone and they know he's lame. That's the point. Exactly. well right, so they that's don't the wanna but they don't wanna <laughs> be him because they know he's lame. I can't remember now. I'll have to talk to him about this because we need to get costumes started soon. Uh, I've seen the new Tick Pilot. Have you seen the new Tick Pilot? Not yet. Some I of meant it, to the other day. I didn't, didn't, forgot about it though since. Some of it's pretty all right. Uh, some of the jokes don't land, but I'm really interested in seeing more. They were actually playing it on Twitch the other day. Yeah. They were. They were because there's the Tick Pilot and there's the Jean Claude Van Johnson pilot. Okay. A John claude Van Damme yeah. spoof pilot thing. So, I... Th it could be really great, but also... I don't know. Peter Serafinowicz was great in it. I really like that they're giving Arthur a little more to do. <laughs> and, uh... It could be really interesting, but... Uh... Oh, sorry. Missing on tips on Anonymous. Uh, any chance we can see Rich suffer through some Final Fantasy in November? No. Nope, great. Uh, Real Van says, seeing as tomorrow is the official 50th anniversary of Star Trek, I'm trying to figure out what to watch. Rich, favorite episodes that aren't on the standard best of lists of any Star Trek? That aren't on the standard best of lists? Well, yeah, just... Like some, some I'm gonna, if I start naming favorite episodes, they're going to be on standard best of lists. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, are you looking for classic Trek or TNG or any Star Trek? I think they're saying any, anything. I mean, 
I'm sure it's on best of list. My favorite has always been uh, Who Watches the Watchers. That's Ooh. a freaking great one. That's a great one. Um, what's the other? The, the, the first contact one where um, Riker was like disguised as one of the aliens, but he got injured and he was in one of their hospitals and Picard revealed himself to one of their scientists to try and do some diplomacy to get Riker back. Isn't that and they had watched? never met aliens before. Isn't that who watches the Watchers? No, that was with the, the really primitive race, like the bows and the arrows. And yeah, then they see Picard, and they think Picard is God. That's who watches the Watchers. I thought that was the one with Riker. Cause that was, they were like primitive no, I, Romulans. That or... one might just be called First Contact. I'm not sure. I know which one you're talking about. Chad is about. concurring. It's First Contact. Oh, yeah? Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a great one. Yeah. That's a great one. And then, and then they think Picard is a god. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Chain of Command was the... Uh, Picard gets captured one, wasn't it? Interrogated, tortured. Was that Chain of Command? That two-parter? Oh, I don't remember names. I don't remember any names. Is that, that one's great. The, uh... The Picard, you know, turns into a Locutus. Best of both worlds. It's fine. It's overrated. As far as TNG goes, it's a good, good episode, though. So it's episode. a great, great cliffhanger. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yesterday's Enterprise. Look, best of both, best of both worlds ain't got nothing on there are four lights. Uh, and you know what? For me, I've always loved um, Darmok, Darmok and Talada and Jalad, or whatever it's called. I know, but I, the language makes so little sense. I know for you, but like it's such a heady episode. You know, it's it, it takes the, it took the audience so long to like figure it out with them that I think it works. Yeah, At Darmok. Darmok is a really fun episode. And it's it's like, that's one of those only in Star Trek yeah. kind of shows, you know. That can't happen in anyone. At Tanagra, that's what it is. I'm trying to think of uh, good uh, original series episodes. Um, Darmok and Jalad at Tanagra. You know what I saw? A mock time. I saw the most wonderful t-shirt well, one time. And it was it was a, uh, a band poster. Yeah. And it, the band was called Darmok and Jalad, and their venue was called At Tanagra. <laughs> and you know, it looked like a it looked like a rock band poster. And I saw that, I was like, "Dude, where'd you get that shirt?" And he just made it himself. <laughs> he made it, he screen printed his own shirt, Darmok and Jalad At Tanagra. You know, tonight Darmok and Jalad At Tanagra. When the walls fell. Exactly, and it, and it was the greatest <laughs> T-shirt I've ever seen. An idiom-based language is feasible, but it wouldn't be 100% idioms. That Trouble with tribbles? Yeah, it was fine. <laughs> Classic. It was fine. Balance of Terror. What's that one? That was the one where they... It's one of the few Romulan episodes of the original series where they... Uh, they just gotta stop the cloaked ship from getting back in Romulan territory because he blew up some kind of base and if he reports back, they'll report like a weakness in the Federation defenses and it might, it would, it would spark a war. So they have to find and destroy this cloak Romulan ship. Is and that it's original like a, it's like a little, huh? Original or next Original year? series. Really? And it's just a game of cat and mouse where the, the two captains are trying to out-captain each other. What's it called? Uh, Balance of Terror. That sounds like and a great episode. The Romulan captain is, is not written like a mustache twirling villain either. <laughs> He's doing his job. Important, He's right. doing his job, and he's doing it well. <laughs> Balance of Terror is fucking great. All right. The Romulans didn't show up much in the original series. Yeah, that was the first time. I think they had one other appearance. And it was actually a pretty good kind of, like, spy thing where the Kirk was trying to get the plans for the cloaking device. Right. I forget what that episode's called. I forget what that one's called, but that's a good one. Romulans have always been good for Trek. I, I think they're better, better villains than the Klingons were. Well, they're different notes. You know, Klingons are the big, dumb base beat. <laughs> yeah, but you get some more intricacies yes. with the Romulans. You get Romulan uh, Romulan episodes are usually like a game of chess. 
Right. Well, I, what I'm saying is both villains have a place. <laughs> Klingon episodes are dealing with some kind of retarded, nonsensical <laughs> honor culture thing. Yeah, you gotta beat the magic drums, uh, or, or we've offended you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kaylee's did something, yeah. and he's got a sword. We gotta find the sword. Why? It's just a fucking sword. All right, fine. Oh, I gotta let. I gotta <laughs> let. I have to let you hit me. Is that how it works? We need. I don't, uh, you're we, need we need the stunt. We need to hit you with pain sticks. And you want this? Okay. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> What what is wrong with you? Every every other culture in this galaxy, they outgrew this shit. Right. You gotta get over it, man. <laughs> Worf has culture. You're right, Worf does have culture. Uh aimless Corsair says, What's so amazing that keeps us Oh I get it, Aimless Corsair. What's so amazing that keeps us stargazing? What do we think we might see? Yeah. Someday we'll find it. The rainbow connection. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. All of us under its spell. We know that it's probably magic. What a great song. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, we had a question like in a different stream. Have I ever teared up during a live action film? Okay. I didn't have an answer then. Mm -hmm. the, the Muppet, uh, the, the recent Muppet movie. When Kermit broke out in Rainbow Connection, oh, the, it just it just started coming. It just started Muppets flowing with uh, Jason Segel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The minute he started doing Rainbow Connection, it's like, oh god. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah. That did it. That was full of feels, absolutely. That's the song that Jack will be singing when he goes on his murder spree. That would be great. That would be a great song to sing while going on a murder spree. Uh, right. The Riddle of Steel says my Halloween costume is going to be a gorilla suit with a bulletproof vest. Considering whether I should add a strap on just to... Oh. I don't understand how that's such a... That Harambe thing is still a big deal for everyone. The what? Harambe. Oh, I don't know. Still, it's still... It's become a joke to the overreaction of the people being upset when they shot the monkey that they had to shoot because he was throwing around a three-year-old child. Absolutely. Absolutely. Arnold Rimmer says, I won my game of pool earlier, which was the winning game for Team Bacon Tree. I was told after. We're now second place and one point behind Dugenham's Supporters Club. What the fuck are you talking about? I think. <laughs> Happy dance. I don't know. I think we're gonna need to retreat. Well, get my engine on that engine. Anonymous says, when does politics turn into history and become cool to talk about? I didn't realize there were people who- When people stop caring about the issues. When it's no longer relevant. Yeah. Yeah, when, when we when we have the 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 joy of hindsight, <laughs> and we can say either oh wasn't that weird or wasn't that great, at the time we don't have the the twenty twenty vision. Um, I didn't realize there were people who hate Teddy Roosevelt until a week ago. Really? Who hates Teddy Roosevelt? He was the greatest. When should you let stuff go? Like Rich said, when it no longer matters. How do you figure out when it no longer matters? That's that's another that's another question. Please sing Rainbow Connection in Pig Latin. Um, how does it start? My head would explode frying. How does the how does how does Rainbow Connection start? Um, Why I, are there so many songs about rainbows? I wear and what's a on the other so side? Say, may Ong says. About A's, rainbow rays. About AIDS? 
Rainbow A's. I don't think AIDS is Rain part of the song. Rainbow A's. And a sway on a uh, the uh, the other a I'd say <laughs> that's ah that hurts my brain yes ooh ooh, ooh. ooh. all right nice oh you oh you guys. Aimbow ra aimbow rays, not, 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 not. Copyright bots are just waiting for this stream to hit YouTube. Absolutely, my voice sounds so much like the original. Copyright bots are going to be on this in a second, Rich. In a second. Have I watched any movies recently? Well, quite recently, I rewatched Blade and Blade Two. <laughs> Blade 2 is pretty good. I forgot. It seems stupid. Why would you do that? That's so That's stupid. So, it's, it's almost like I wanted to watch it so I could have a conversation with someone. Uh, will, will any review ever be a surprise or are we just going to spoil every fucking one? What's wrong with us? What's wrong with us, Jack? Is it going to deter anyone from watching it? No. No. So then why does it matter? And you know what? I bet you someone thinks it matters. Someone is is right now upset. Yeah. Typing into the chat thing. How dare you? They have not invented something that mankind is not capable of getting upset about. <laughs> there was a time, Ultimazer, where I thought Blade was the most badass movie ever to exist. I, I first saw Blade when I was 16 years old, and that was the fucking end-all be-all for me. Trench coats, swords, kung fu fighting, techno music. Bad fucking ass. I don't, honestly, I don't remember much about Blade. Yeah? Yeah. The, you know. It's a thing that exists. It's a thing that exists, and you know. I have a conversation about it. Just wait. Just wait. No, you know what? Blade 2 was pretty good. Uh, Blade 3, I and I haven't seen Blade 3. Blade 3 is, I hear, when the series goes to shit. Blade, you know, Blade 2 is uh, Guillermo del Toro directed. Which doesn't like that. Or maybe I got hit by a laser. <laughs> Um, and then for Blade 3 or Blade Trinity, they let David S. Goyer direct it. Yeah. And all of a sudden the series stopped making money like it used to. What a weird coincidence. First two movies made a good amount of money back on their investment. And then they gave it to David Goyer. Weird how that would happen. Pet Sounds is a great album. Recruit more pimps for you. That's a great album. Striker1121! You're on the crew! You know, there's there's some interesting points to the Blade movies. There's some bad points. There's some good points. It's interesting. I'm looking forward. I got I got the Blu-ray that contained all three Blade movies with uh, all the commentaries, and, and so I just got through two this morning, and so I, I think uh, either either tonight after the stream or tomorrow I'll get I'll, I'll watch Blade three with Ryan Reynolds and Jessica Biel. Really? Yeah, like some, huh. and you know, like I, I, Ryan Reynolds wasn't like a big movie star at the yeah. time, but still a name, well known. Pre-Deadpool, obviously. I'm not gonna see, the, I'm, and I'm not talking about anything I talked about in the review, which is the important stuff. So I won't go into detail about my feelings about Blade. I'm trying. Next, I'm, I'm now that now that I've gotten my foot in the door with a '90s action superhero movie. This is this is now going to be like my niche. It's going to be the Phantom, the Shadow, 
Blank Man, uh, Tank Girl. <laughs> All these movies that I loved growing up. This is, uh, this, that's going to be m literally my whole review repertoire. All right. Who like who wants to uh, talk about? All right. Possibly like shitty '90s action movies with me. Let's go. Ooh. If I do the store, Johnny Mnemonic, absolutely. There's nothing I need at the store bad enough to risk this, is there? No. No, you have pretty good weapons. Right there. Um. Johnny Mnemonic, remember there was a dolphin hacker? Do you remember that at the end of Johnny Mnemonic? There was a dolphin hacker. That was great. What do you think? No, I, I, I don't. <laughs> I, 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 really, I really don't. I don't remember Meteor Man. I never watched Meteor Man. I watched Blank Man. Demolition Man, love Demolition Man. But everyone loves Demolition Man, that's not just me, that's just everyone. Oh, fuck. That was just your sensors, that's fine. No, that's not what I'm saying fuck about. What? What you, what you saying fuck about? They're drone. Okay. He's giving them a super shield. Oh well, your chain or your chain ion will eventually start pumping out, right? That lessens its attack every time. Right? Or what does it do? It gets stronger ion. Oh, okay. But it's well, not getting faster. Well, you get a stronger. Beat every time. Yeah. I can't retreat. God oh, damn it! Oh no! If I get the opportunity, I am so fucking murdering every fucking one of you. We don't have a three, uh, Panasonic 3DO. We can't stream 3DO games. Sorry. Oh. oh god, you need to upgrade your engines. get ourselves a Sega Saturn so I can play uh, so I can play the Scud the Disposable Assassin game. <laughs> remember Scud the Disposable Assassin? Game? Yeah. Great yeah. comic book. Great comic book. I remember that I'm almost dead because of this cocksucker. I, 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 that's easy to remember though because it's right in front of our face. What is my favorite streaming service? I mean, Netflix. Netflix seems to have all the good stuff. I'm also pretty fond of Hulu. Um, so, you know, those are the ones I like. There you go. Fucking got you now. I am so gonna tear your shit up. There you go, Rich. Shield does nothing. You dink. Jack is sponsored by Hulu. What? I like Hulu. They had, they had some good stuff. And you know, if 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 you want to watch current shit, you got to watch it there. Amazon Prime is a great streaming service, only because a lot of people just have it already for the free shipping, and so you just happen to get streaming along with that. So, but and those are the three I have. Hulu I don't use that much, but uh, it has great... Uh, the kids watch Hulu more than I do because they, they have a lot of Cartoon Network stuff on Hulu. So. Yeah. 
That's more that's more of the kids. But I think it's worth it. Fucking die. Fucking die. Yeah, yeah, you need to upgrade your engines. You gotta start dodging some of them, some of them, uh, missiles. Um, you know, Jack Trigger Joyce, if you're getting tired of Netflix, Netflix just has a, a lot more shit. Amazon has a decent selection. Uh, Hulu, I would say Hulu has a better selection than Amazon, especially if you are, if you want to watch somewhat current TV shows. That's what I really like about uh, Hulu is, you know, the next day after it comes out, it's on Hulu. So I'd say if you're looking for a Netflix alternative, Hulu would be better, but only slightly. But with Amazon Prime, you also get Prime shipping on things, which is great. So free shipping on a ton of stuff if you order stuff through Amazon anyway, then it just that's that's just a no that's a no brainer for me. Turkey burger. Turkey Burger says, if you please, give a one-word review of each of the following movies. Demolition Man. Awesome. Underrated. Underrated. Demolition Man? Yeah. Underrated. Nice. Lawnmower Man. Awful. I'm going to say pretentious. Yeah? Yeah. I think I think Lawnmower Man thinks it's a lot smarter than it is. Hmm. Blank Man. Ew. Um. How can I say in one word that they tried? <laughs> Attempt. Dark Man. Great. Great. Encino Man. Not so great, but that's not one word. One word is weasel. <laughs> um, and Las Vecenas de Monsieur Hulot. What? Foreign. Thank you, LOL, Fac Mac Cac. Oh, oh, down? That's what they ask for, just a little bit. They want to hear the music, but not have it overpower us. If that's something you can do, that would be swell. Oh, it's very loud, yeah. There, that's great. That looks great. Now when we talk, we're above it. Great. I don't want to let them go. Damn it. Wait, what the fuck is great about Darkman? Do you mean besides what? Do you mean besides Liam Neeson and Sam Raimi? And besides the super weird story and Liam Neeson being a freak and it being a dark weird superhero movie? Right, your homework assignment is to watch Dark Bad. Yes. What's the, what's that one line? Give me the fucking elephant. Give me the fucking elephant. Yeah. Uh, Jiminy Cricket Prick Bastard Rich. What? 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't read the whole thing first, Rich. If you had the power to beast master one species of animal for a day, what would it be? To, what does it mean to beast master an animal well, species? The, the beast master can turn into animals. 
a human. But like a really strong human. Sure, why not? <laughs> like you know the mountain, that that uh that, like Norwegian, strongman mm -hmm. who plays the mountain on Game of Thrones. I'd I'd beastmaster into him for a day just because he's super strong. I know I know it's a joke a joke at this point. Yes, but th that's just not my fantasy. Never has been the be an animal thing. Yeah. The thought has always been you. Hmm. Yeah, I think his actual real name is Thor, like Thor Bjergen Flergen. And he's the mountain, and he's giant, and he's the strongest man on earth. Anonymous says, hey there, not a complaint, but I'd like to warn the chat that political comments will get deleted or even get you banned. Apparently even Teddy Roosevelt is too provocative to mention. We do try to keep it neutral and chat can get very excitable, especially while I'm talking about politics. You know, I don't know how I feel about that because I like bringing this kind of stuff up every now and then. Every now and then, but you know... You don't want to. You don't want to light a fire that would, you can't put out. If it's getting disruptive, yes. Right. I get. Yeah. I guess maybe mods. Maybe ease up a little. Judgment bit. call. Wait till it Judgment gets call. crazy. Ease up just a tad. But I don't want to start a fire that I can't put out. Is is my is my worry? Mm -hmm. And I know I know you guys in chat. I know you like to get freaky. I don't like the double standard, though. What? So I'll, I'll bring up politics now and then. I will. Oh, yeah. No, and that's fine. The thing is, the chat doesn't know when to move on. Yeah, yeah, I've noticed that. Right. Well, oh, yeah, no, and especially with the, you know... As we get closer and closer to the election, things will get more and more heated. Tiberius Kirk, I've I've read all the tips. I'm I'm up to date on tips. Now mods, Xenotrope didn't say anything that bad. Ease up a little bit. What's R9K mode? Eight, four, oh. Hold on, Tiberius. That's self-destruct. What? R9K mode is self-destruct. Oh, God. Oh, now it's only an e it's an emote only mode. There we go. That's easy. Uh, Tiberius, we read we read that tomorrow is the fiftieth anniversary of Star Trek, and um, oh, sorry. You know what? I think I got this confused with a different Star Trek themed tip. I'm so sorry, Tiberius. Uh, tomorrow at eight thirty p.m is the actual 50th anniversary of Star Trek, and that's when the hollow dick always happens. We're doing Where No Man Has Gone Before, the motion picture, and more. <laughs> Watch Trek. So tomorrow, tomorrow night at 8.30, if you hang out here in the chat, the hollow dicks are watching Star Trek stuff and chatting about that. Sorry I missed that, Tiberius. Someone else... 
uh, talks about the 50th Star Trek anniversary and favorite mm-hmm. episodes. And then I saw the first sentence was 50th Star Trek anniversary. And so I lumped both of them together. So I do apologize for that. All right. Every one of those fucking missed. I'm sorry. <sighs> Wait. Emote only mode is hilarious. And so I I like that. The mods are adorable and the mods do a great job. And it's a balancing act. I can't I can't imagine. It's a balancing act and they want to make sure the chat stays clean and we appreciate that. We appreciate that we have a nice, clean chat and we can talk about stuff that doesn't get everyone all riled up. I appreciate that. Captain Nitpick emote only mode is very funny. So, uh, I think I think it's funny. You know what's not funny? What? AIDS. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, I was thinking about AIDS. You think that's funny? Yeah. Like, super funny. What's wrong with you? Like, uh, like Live Aid, right? Where the comedians tell jokes? That's a, that's a poor recovery. That's so, that's so... That was, that was the best AIDS joke I could think of given the situation. That was so transparent a bird would fly right into it. How was I supposed to, how was I supposed to turn that around to be an AIDS joke? You tell me. You tell me. Really? You're just going to say AIDS. You just sit there no, and quietly, oh no. well, I'm ju- quietly just mumble AIDS to yourself? I, I'm, ju- I'm just trying to think of a better way to... Rec- oh, l- like, okay. So, like, I could have I could have gone, like, yeah, yeah, like, you saw that movie, right? M- AIDS in Manhattan. I thought that was a funny movie. Was that better? No? You don't like that? Uh, no, no. I think, you know. All right. It's like, quit while you're ahead, but you're not ahead. I... I'm just trying to think of what what the proper joke to come quit, out of that. Quit movement. while you're not further behind. And that's true. AIDS AIDS is no longer at least at least uh, in in developed countries AIDS is no longer the the life-threatening disease. It well, it's life-threatening, is. but it's manageable now. It's not a complete death sentence. Right. At least at least here in in uh, first world countries. Obviously, it's still a giant problem in developing countries. And so, you know, because it's not as serious a threat, people are getting a little, a little loose with it. Oh, I'm not trying, oh, Fear for Sludge Boy, I'm not trying to bail on thinking AIDS is funny. Of, of course AIDS is funny. Everything can be funny. I was trying to think of the joke to go along with AIDS is funny, you know? So, All right, we need fuel badly. Uh, Jiminy Cricket Prick Bastard. Jay is usually pretty good, but in the close-up on his face, in Batman vs. Superman, when Mike says, tell him to take his pants off, you can see him trying not to laugh. It's hysterical. I can only imagine that's a giant problem all the time is them just trying not to laugh at each other's bits. They're always laughing at their bits. (laughs) 
No, and you know, I I saw that too, Mons. I'm okay with that one. I know you're trying to keep it clean. Uh, Inferus's little comment. I understand you're trying to keep it clean for me, but even that, like, it doesn't really bother me. I appreciate it that you take that away. Because we can see with, with Chatty, we can see everyone's comments and then it gets a strike through when you guys mod it. So we can see the comments and then uh, sometimes we can catch it before they're taken away. Well, that sucks. No, no, uh, Philly Burkill, I have not. I have not made any of those jokes. And, I mean, they're not nice, but, you know, I'm not going to freak out about them. Ah, that old classic. Right, well, right, and see, like, I bring it up, and then the whole chat brings it up, which was the whole idea with the moderation. So, like, I get it. I get it. What's going on? Oh, someone made an AIDS Moby reference. Okay, okay. And I saw one of the mods quickly delete the comment. Yeah. And so I was just letting the mods know. It's just like, ah, that stuff doesn't bother me. But then I brought it up, and so now all the chat is bringing up all the AIDS movie stuff. And so, like, I understand their instinct in wanting to moderate that. Yeah. You know, like, oh, yeah, if someone makes it, then the chat is going to repeat ad nauseum. So I get it. Well, you see as, as we are talking about things that we are okay not having moderated, I thought I'd bring it up. Yeah, yeah. I thought I'd bring it up. Loosen it up a little bit. You know. Only child says, hey, fellas, I've tried to grow my beard out several times, but have never been able to get past the itchiness. Any, invi any advice on getting through that sta scra stage? LOL, scratch my stubble. Just scratch it a little bit here and there. Don't go nuts. I've never had a, I've never, it's never been a huge problem with me. It's it right now. Like, I'm feeling it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, through my, through day to day, it's not you know, really you know awesome, what? but. You're growing a beard. Yeah. Man up. Man up. Pretty much. Pretty much. Well, and you know what? Make sure you trim it up. You know, like, you got to define your line under your chin here, right? And so, like, you don't want this stuff hanging out too low. So, you know, trim it up. Get yourself a nice, clean line, and that'll help with the itchiness. And that'll help. Make it more apparent that you're growing a beard, not just not shaving. There's a difference between having a beard and just not shaving. But you know what? It 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 gets better. I remember when I had my big beard. It it felt it, it felt fine. You get used to it. The big beard. The big beard. Jack and his big badass beard. What? I played Smash Brothers on. Uh, I think we played Smash Brothers on Wii. I just got it for my 3DS though. I just cleared out a bunch of my console games that I'm not going to touch anymore because I have the new PC. <laughs> So I, I went over to GameStop today and turned in a whole lot of them. And, like, I had them piled up. Like, I had Quantum Break still. Yeah. You know, just a lot of them. No Man's Sky. So I'm never going to touch I'm just a pack rat. I don't throw hardly anything out or sell it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so I went to GameStop today, traded a bunch in, got uh, I have to hit a game Super before Smash. I sell it. A no Man's Sky. Selling it wasn't really an option. But yeah. Oh, right, right. So, uh, got I got Pokemon Y, and I got Smash Brothers for the 3DS. So you got Pokemon Y? Why? Why? Oh, yeah, because I, I think it's a, a really good game, Pokemon Y. Okay, okay. I, I I picked up a little too late. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> 
Uh, hey, Jack and Rich says Nico Cola. Here's a tip to thank you both again for your voice acting help. My cartoon is being animated right now. We'll let you know when it's released. Thanks for always being two awesome guys. No problem. That's true. A while ago, uh, Nico Cola. Uh, Why are you not firing an automatic? That's a good Oh, because I switched the spots. I set that to go. Ah, damn, damn it. Uh, Nico Cola came to us saying that uh, he was he was making a, a little cartoon and wanted Rich Evans to do a voice. And so we, we figured out a uh, way to record his voice. And uh, as soon as it's out, we'll let everyone know. And you can hear Rich Evans in glorious animated form. That was, I mean, that was a hard 20 minutes we spent recording all the all those <laughs> vocals. Ooh, just... Just a tough afternoon. <laughs> gave it as much effort as I give anything else. Very little. <laughs> no, we worked on it. Yeah, no, I know. I'm kidding. Right. That's a fucking joke. No, nah, we worked hard. We worked Nobody understands jokes. Nope. I, you know I don't. No, I don't. You know I don't? Rich what's, Evans. What's, that's right. Rich Evans is now an internet, movie, and animated superstar. Boom. Boom. Uh, yeah. But yeah, Nico, make sure make sure you you send me an email when it's out and and I'll, we'll tweet about it. Make sure everyone knows. I have not been playing Pokemon Uranium. Uh, I have it. I have it on my new computer and it works. And I'm kind of excited to play it. But I'm thinking that might be a good, that might be a, one of those good, like maybe a Jay's here stream, and we just need something mindless in the background, so I'll put Pokemon Uranium on, you know. I'll make I'll make sure we get Rich a, a copy on his computer, too. So, that, that'll be one of those great, no, I don't have to think about it, so we can just all chat about random bullshit games. Yeah. So I haven't been playing it myself because I know that's something that we can do on stream. But I'm really excited to play it. That's actually that's what that's what uh, led me to go get Pokemon Y because I I have not played Pokemon X or Y yet. Um, and you know there's all the hype about. Pokemon Sun and Moon coming out, and then I'm thinking about Pokemon Uranium, and thinking about not playing Pokemon Go anymore. So I need a, I need more, a little more Pokemon in my life, and I'd like to say Pokemon at least five more times before the night's out. Pokemon, 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 Pokemon. Pokemon. I did, I did it for you. Pokemon. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon. You, you, you can actually live without catching them all. What? You can live without catching them all. You gotta. You gotta catch them all. Why? Ah, uh, because... Why do you have to catch them all? Because you gotta. You don't. You're, th you're a fucking adult. Act you, like a fucking adult. But if you catch them all, you get, like, a special reward from the professor or something. You know, well, you only use, like, five of them at a time. Six. It's a fucking waste. Six of them at a time. But, Rich, you want to be the very best, like no one ever was. Then catch the best six. It's not just about that. You just said it was about being the best. Yeah, the very best. Like no one ever was. And then you said it's not about that. But like to catch them... You're saying contradictory things and to, I don't appreciate it. But Rich, to catch them all is my real test and to train them is my, my cause. What? That's the song. It's the song. The Pokemon song. I want to be the very best like no one ever was to catch them is my real test to train them is my cause i will travel across the land How embarrassing searching far and wide with pokemon are my real friends to travel by my side i'm making that up i don't think that's how it works but Yes, we already talked about Headphone Jack Gate 2017. Fook me cook. Jack is for it. I'm, I'm, 
I'm excited to see what happens. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm okay with it. For it might be a little strong. I'm okay with it. It does not affect me in any in any major way, shape, or form. Should have done that a while ago. <sighs> Go Team Rocket. You know what? That's what I always wanted. And uh, in, in a lot of the earlier Pokemon games, you know, you're fighting the bad guy team who like steals Pokemon, mm -hmm. and you always end up defeating them. You always end up breaking up their evil organization. I always wanted a Pokemon game where you where you played as Team Rocket, and instead of like choosing one of three starters, you start off in the Rocket Warehouse, and you can choose any Pokemon you want because you've stolen you know like your team has stolen them all, and then you go you go off on your Team Rocket quest to steal all the Pokemon from little kids. Okay, I've always wanted a game like that. Maybe a fan game will. Oh. Oh. That's right. I'm anti headphone and pro YouTube censorship. Shoto man, proto man. That what, is. What crazy thing, thing will Jack be in favor of next? You just never know, man. I'm all sorts of weird. That's right. In Pokemon, you have to enslave and make animals fight each other. That's the whole point of the Pokemons. <laughs> Leftover Beefcake says, a VR Pokemon game will finally sell Jack on VR. It wouldn't hurt. Wouldn't hurt. I think we're done. What? I think we're done. And we're done. And we're done. Anonymous says I should play the real Pokemon theme for Rich. Probably not. Um, <laughs> I won't listen to it. Because he doesn't care. Because he thought it was care. He doesn't, he doesn't care. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, Infra says, sorry, Jack. I thought my joke was innocent enough, but here's five Australian dollars to go towards the moderator fund because as well, we know they do it for free. That's right. The moderators do do it for free, and they do a great job. Technically uh, leftover beefcake. I am killing it at FTL tonight. I get it. Um. What? I don't understand that anonymous. I'm not reading it. Wait. But, I what? thought I put the watch up. Where'd it go? I know I pulled it up earlier. Oh, God damn it. Um... Uh, this time it's Lupus says, damn it, Rich, you have to catch them all. If you don't, then you're betraying the spirit of Pokemon to waste your time raising imaginary monsters to fight fake battles and throw real money at Nintendo. That's true. Cesarean Fart says, hey, guys, quick movie question. Do either of you guys have a personal favorite comedy about AIDS? Nope. I'm looking for a recommendation for my girlfriend. LOL. Flip my... Flip my flip. Um, Strife. Introverse says, have you two heard of the short run of Superman the of Superman that Max Landis wrote? Yes, yeah, Superman American Alien. Yeah. Read uh, a couple issues of it. Yeah, read a couple Pretty issues. It's fine. <clears throat> um, oh, I'd have yeah. read more. I'm just I don't spend much time in comic book American stores. American Alien anymore. is the name of the series. I believe it has eight if issues. Flub my schlubs. Sari Chen, Professor Oak, what happened to you? Oh wait, wait, is this like that's like swole Professor Oak, right? Oh my god, Professor Oak got a spray tan. Oh my god. Hey guys, it's time to end the stream. Stop it. Uh, Has Mike ever grown a beard? Says Captain Blackadder, no. Uh, 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 Bravo, Bravo, Bravo Cop Bravo says, Cop. I just changed my text tone to Cameron Mitchell screaming, will you close the fucking doors? Thanks for the inspiration. Here's some money. You're welcome. And then did you get this one? Yes. Oh, so we're caught up. Professor Oak, what happened to you? Okay, great. Now is the time in which we read off all the people who subscribe to us during the stream. Thank you for subscribing to us. No fear, no envy. 19 months in a row. And no fear, no envy says 21 fucking months in a row. That would be incorrect. No fear, no envy. It would. It would. They gave themselves an extra month, too, than right. what they would have needed. Like, right? Yeah. They, yeah. Just, just to try to trick us, I think. Uh, Godfather42 says... 
Oh, well, he just says uh, things, but he also, uh, 20 fucking months in a row, he's been subscribed for. But I got so excited to say Godfud. Godfud. You can do, you can do the Godfather. I, I can't. Godfather. I can't do Brando. That's all right. Can you do, you just say yeah. the name. That's it. What you gotta, you, what's really important with the Brando is you gotta yeah. do, you make this happen. Yeah, you make this happen. You gotta make this happen with your mouth. I sound like Igor, yes. No, I sound, I sound like Peter Lorre. Yeah. You gotta go a little Italian, and it's a little, it's a little chewy too. It's a Godfather 42. That 20 months is forever. I know I had the Twitch up because that's how I was picking people. Where did it go? I must have accidentally closed it that last time. You you did. You had the Twitcher up because you were randomly picking people for FTL and. Instead of minimizing it, you must have I hit the X. I must have hit the X, yeah. Yep. Oh, well. Yep. Shit happens. We I'm got fine. names. We can read it. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, John Kilo 328 fucking months in a row. Uh, John Kilo says slash subscribers. Okay. Great. Oh, I did miss your uh, other tip, Only Child. Only Child says, I'm supporting your Milwaukee economy by drinking a Schlitz right now. Enjoy your beer craps later. Uh, it's the beer that made Milwaukee famous. Jack, what's your favorite Wisconsin beer? I'm a big fan of everything by New Glarus. Yeah, New Glarus is great. Uh, I like MKE Brewing, specifically Hop Freak and OG. Both are tea-infused IPAs. I'm not a drinker, but everyone seems to love that that spotted cow, spotted, that Black oh. Glare spotted cow, New Glare spotted cow. That's like it's it's a light beer and it's flavorful. Uh, Lakefront Brewery is a great brewery, but but for me, it's all about uh, MK that that uh, Hop Freak and OG. Uh, smelt no, smelt, yep. yeah, Smelter Wedge in all of us, twenty four fucking months in a row. Two years! Kick Girl V, possibly Kick Girl 5, depending on how you want to say that, <laughs> says Rich and Jack, you are the sunshine of my life. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Ion Eyes. Nice. Ion Eyes says, I've played this game dozens of times and never beat it on normal. Oh, well, thanks for the streams. And laughs. And laughs rich. Well, he did some sub when I was doing the solo bit earlier. And laughs so. rich. They weren't trying to be rude. It was just me earlier. I'll, I'll believe that. I'll believe that. Dream Sign says, It's my seventh month anniversary. The things... Oh, the things said so. <laughs> so I'm just letting you know that it's my seven month anniversary. Trying to get it in there anyway. That's great. No, hey, That's fine. That's, that's fine. fine. Wickless. For 23 fucking months in a row. I That was horrible, but, you know, I, do, I needed to keep saying it. Big Fat Man, <laughs> age 73. <laughs> Sorry, big, big Fat Man. Jernom, 17 months in a row. On Kool Aid Man, 23. Fucking months in a row on Kool-Aid Man says. One more month until I am depressed by this. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry you feel that way. Wow. Be Baron von Light. Welcome. <laughs> Jay Zelly. Thanks for a great evening of entertainment, gents. Keep it up. Err, Mandeponium. Mandeponium! Welcome! And Genghis Borgnine! 22 fucking motherfucking fucking months in a row. Genghis Borgnine says, watch your language. For well, shit's fuck. For shit's sake, Rich. Watch your fucking mouth. We just do it for shits and giggles. With all, with all the, with all the crap, and bullshit, and and horseshit, and also pig shit.